guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Fio. Today, I'm going to be doing a New York City studio apartment tour. So I've been living in my apartment. This is gonna be like a year and a half-ish kind of coming up and I renewed it for two more, so when I technically leave or decide if I want to renew it again, it'll be 2024, um, right? Yeah, 2024. Um, so when I was moving in, it was during COVID and I was actually back in Florida and I was watching a lot of like studio apartments or one bedroom apartment videos on YouTube and like how to decorate and what they look like and what should I be expecting. So that's kind of why I am doing this video uh, right now. So I have a studio, I live by myself. All my other friends have, a one bedroom or a two bedroom with flex walls and they all live together and I think a lot of friendships were saved by me living by myself because I'm one of those people that I need to refuel by myself at all the time so like it's good I think it's a blessing in disguise and but like I wish I could be one of those people that was like yay roommates but I just I don't have it in me um but I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, apartment tour. So I hope you enjoy. First walk in, this is what you see. It's a plain white wall and my friend Annie's actually painting me um, a little mural thing for my apartment just because I'm tired of seeing the white wall. Straight to the wall, my friend Megan, my freshman year of college painted me that. So I was obsessed with friends. We all go through our phases, right? And then this right here is when I studied abroad in Italy. It's I got magnets of all the places that I went to. And I just think this Bible verse kind of fits it very well with you know, everything going on in there. Right above, I have a lot of my film photos that go all around right here. More film photos that I'll show y'all, but kind of what I do is that every time I get new film developed, I'll choose photos that I want to put up and then I'll take some down and stuff like that. I haven't gone to pick up my film for like a month because I haven't finished the role that I'm on right now. And I usually, when I develop a role, I'll pick it up and stuff like that. So it's been a while and my friend works there and he goes, Fio, we've had your film for so long. And I'm like, I know, I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But I'm almost done with it. So then all the photos are gonna be re-updated. The entryway right there on the left is my gym bag. It's always there, ready to go. And then on the left is my bathroom. Let me, I have my little scented candle stuff going on and you walk in right here and then that's my little earring wall and it's so funny because all my earrings kind of go in there because after a night out i'm like yeah no we're not putting that back up there so we put it there i have my fun little get naked um rug and this is just kind of what my little bathroom looks like and one of the things that i do love is that there's so much storage everywhere and then my friend annie painted me this for my birthday so i put it up over here because i don't like looking at empty walls and the second you walk out of the bathroom right here this is like my little winter coat closet storage room you'll see it's like kind of hard to open because i have so many suitcases in there i have my guitar case brooms all that stuff my coats and then you know all my cleaning supplies and everything that i need and then right here to the left immediately is where all my tote bags are. Like I said, more film photos. They go all the way back to last year, to setting abroad, New York City sounds. And then something that I do like a lot about this apartment is that there's a lot of storage in the closets. Um, I do, however, have more clothes than storage. So there's kind of just piled everywhere. Um, more storage up there and then here's some of my bags and then the other ones go in those other two bags because there's not enough hooks and then if you look in here it's just three doors full of um, closet space which is fantastic to the right is my little painting of biscuit ross that's my little puppy back home i didn't paint that i don't have the talent for that i got it made which is fantastic and then right here is my kitchen um pretty average size i think for new york city and have my little freaking espresso thing everything and then one of the things i remember praying for like before i got my apartment was having a dishwasher because i hate doing dishes and i got it the kitchen looks pretty small but i've been inside my neighbor's apartment and his apartment is bigger than mine but his kitchen is like half the size so i'm like yeah no would much rather have more room in the kitchen than like a bigger apartment if that makes sense just because i feel like there's very little room in here and with his i was like bro how do you do this and then right as you leave it, right, <laughs> right to the kitchen is my calendar. So you can tell we're in Halloween weekend. So calendar's empty, but it's also full of things that we're doing. Then right here to the left of the calendar, right in front of it, is my little keyboard. The chair's up just because when I have people over, I don't want them like tripping over it. 
And then right here is my little book station, music station. I have all the books that I've been reading, that I've read, laptops, computers, and there, there's more books that I've read this year, little record uh, station. And then I have my friend Jeff and I went to a Yankees game and we got four free tickets for next season, which is really exciting. And then my friend Nina gave me this from San Diego that her mom and her always go. And then my little speaker, my friend got me a Snoopy lamp, so it's just kind of chilling there. And then right here is my little dining room table. And I was, it came with four chairs and in this closet, I have the extra one, but I just, if it was, there was four chairs, it would be too inclined out. So I didn't like that. And then I actually kind of want to get a fish for this little bowl. I usually put flowers in it, but I kind of want to get a fish for it. And then right here is my little mirror. I always take my, <laughs> every time people come over, they're like, oh, that's the mirror where you send a Snapchat to. And I was like, yep. And then I just have stars that I've had since freshman year. And then out here, if you open the window, that's the view of Battery Park. If I turn around, you'll see right here my very messily made bed. <laughs> I'm a huge pillow person, so I have like a gazillion pillows. Um, but I've had that little buddy since I was like three years old. I feel like we all have something like that, you know? And then I've got these butterflies painted. Um, my freshman year dorm room, actually, too, I had butterflies like that all over my wall. And I didn't even realize it until after I hung it up. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then right here, it's this little sticky thing coming out. Um, Hayden, who he's moving back. He had moved to Europe, but he's moving back next week. Um, he's a very, like, his love language is like writing letters. And one time he was over and then we were doing Bible study. And after he left, I woke up the next morning and I saw this note. I was like, what's that note? And it was Hayden that he like wrote me a little note and he just had put it up there for me to wake up to. And it was just so kind and so sweet. So I always just left it there. Another thing, oh, be, I forgot to show you. Behind me is my TV right next. It's right in between the dining room table and the little record station. It's my little TV. Um, but before I had found a studio, I had looked up like different ways to like separate the living room and the bedroom. Cause like it's literally all just one room. And people had put up like little walls or like dividers. And my aunt thankfully is an interior designer. And she was like, no, 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 like just put a night table cause then it's gonna feel too cluttered and all that stuff. So I, if you, if your studio isn't huge I would definitely recommend just separating it by a night table. I mean, it works for me. I think it's great. Um, but other people have put up like different um, things which I think is every, everything is different for everybody else. But just for me personally, I really like it. That's my little charging station. And then right there's my night table with the book I'm reading, my agenda. And then the top is just a bunch of storage stuff. And then ben beneath it is all my like winter scarves and gloves and all that fun stuff. And then immediately to the left, I have a pullout couch and I have this mirror that if you see, I'm 4'11", I cannot see myself, but my friends can, which I guess it works for them. But this is my little couch and it's also a pull out couch. So if I ever need people to like spend the night and stuff like that, they just pull it out and boom, it works perfectly. But the couch itself, I lie to you, like just being completely honest, the couch is not the most comfiest thing in the world. Like it's soft and squishy, but I feel like it kind of like shifts a lot because it's a pull out couch and I've been wanting to sell it and get a new one, but like I need to find like the right measuring stuff. And my friend Jeff was gonna help me come over and like do all that stuff, but we just never got around to it. But I don't know, I kind of want to get rid of it and like buy new pillows and just everything, but I don't know, it, it gets the job done and I mean, no complaints I guess from other people so far, knock on wood. <laughs> In between the middle of my table and my couch is my little record station, I play the guitar so it's just right there in the middle. And then I brought a bunch of records from home back in Florida to here and I put them up on the wall. And then this is obviously my favorite part of my apartment, if you walk here. This is where, kind of where I sit down and I read and I just, you know, whatever, because the view is so nice. Like literally you look out and it's literally fall. Look at that. Oh, it's my, I'm shaking. That's insane. And then straight to the right is Miss Freedom Tower. Just like either like have my Bible or like whatever book I'm reading or like sometimes like my laptop and like I'll write like my essays or whatever I need to do for school. I'll just sit here. That's why I have two pillows and I'll just sit here and I'll just, enjoy the view especially at nighttime it's so beautiful just seeing like all like like just darkness and then like the lights it's so pretty and, like look like i'll show you like more out there how pretty it is you see all the way over there like all the trees like the highway it's just insane and right across from me that's jersey city yeah i have a pretty small apartment in new york city i live in battery park i live by myself um but i honestly like 
I'm obsessed with it. I love every little square foot of it. I think it's perfect for one person. I think that a one bedroom, honestly, for me would be too big. I enjoy having um, the studio and like I'm in my early 20s, like, you know, it's it's perfect. I just saw the basketball. I forgot I had a basketball. There's a basketball under my bed because my friends and I last year we used to go onto that basketball court over there and just play basketball. It getting cold. We went back to school like because our campus has a basketball court, so we would play basketball there. So I kind of forgot those there. But um, yeah, that's my little New York City studio apartment tour. I live in Battery Park in downtown uh, Manhattan, and it's fantastic. It's five minute walk from work and a 15 minute walk to school, which is, you know, more than I could ask for. Um, everything in this place is just literally a blessing. I'm so thankful for it. Could not be more happy and content with this place. Um, but yeah, um, thank you all so much for watching my little apartment tour and uh, see you next time.